Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look into how to test a third-party API with Spring Boot. It is very, very easy. This is my test, uh, this is my project Spring Boot test suite. You can find it on GitHub uh, as usual. So first of all, we're going to create a, uh, a Spring Boot service that actually, or a, a service that I would actually call out and reach something in the world. And when I say the world, I actually mean local hosts, just uh, just to keep everything local. Uh, but it could uh, it could be you should uh, imagine that you have some kind of dependency to an API that is um, that which, which is not inside the Spring Boot application. Um, and how to test that? that? That is what we're going to solve tonight. So this is, uh, is a, a refuel service. So I have I have my spaceships, and now we want to have a service that actually refuels all of these spaceships right here. So we annotate this with service, and then we say that we have a. Then we say that we have a public uh, spaceship. So. Uh, here we have the spaceship, and we take refuel ship, and maybe some percentage right here, um, percentage as argument. So, and then we say rest template because this is usually how we actually call something out in the world. You can also use HTTP interfaces. If you haven't seen my HTTP interfaces video, then do that. It's actually a more structured way of calling third-party REST uh, APIs. So we'll just create a new one right here. Uh, a new REST template right there. And in this situation right here, we are just going to post for objects. So we're going to post, and in this situation right here, we're going to post localhost, 8080, and then we have your like this. So this means that we would like to look for a service uh, on my localhost. This service will not be there. It will not be present, and that is actually fine. Because this is exactly the situation that we want to do, to write to, to write a good test uh, for that, and we would and we do not want to be dependent on this uh, API in our tests, even though that we of course are. We can create tests where we are dependent on the third party API and where, where we actually test or access to this third party API. But whenever you build, you do not want to have dependencies to third party APIs because what happens when those uh, APIs are down, then you do not want your build to, to, to stop in those situations. If you want, of course, your application not to be able to build when someone else's application out in the world is, is not working, then of course, just continue doing what, whatever you're doing today. But uh, in uh, yeah, most uh, most times, actually 99.9% .9 of all the times, you still want to be able to build and deploy your application, even though there are some API out in the world that is that are not available. So, okay, so here we have the uh, post for object, and then we have the um, we can actually post for this right here. Post for object, then we have the URL, we have the request, and then we have the class. Yeah, so let us just post. We will, we will send them a spaceship, uh, and that, that would actually be the um, yeah, we actually need to uh, the spaceship also has the in input right here. Spaceship, spaceship, and then the percentage that we want to uh, to refuel it with, and then we say ship, and then we say um, actually we, we uh, let us remove the percentage just to keep it uh, just just to keep it easy and simple. So post for object, and we actually, we, we, uh, and we actually, uh, yeah, we, we expect to get a spaceship back, and we, and we actually also sending the whole ship right now, uh, right there. And what we ex actually expect is that uh, our spaceship has, uh, when it's done being refueled, then the fuel tank should be above ninety five percent, for instance. Uh, that, that is that is what we expect. Um, but right now. Right now we have this dependency right here, and we would like to, like to create a test. First of all, how do we create a test? You press Alt Insert. If you use IntelliJ, then you can choose Test like this, and then you say Refuel Service Test. Yes, and you say take off the method that you want to test like this. And here we have our test. We can name the Spring Boot Test. 
if you can avoid the whole web context, then you should actually do that uh, because it's much faster. So you can set web environment. If you can set this to none, then you you will have a much faster test than, than if you have to start up the Tomcat every time. That's also why I recommend that you actually test your controllers directly instead of uh, instead of actually calling uh, the REST endpoint um, on on your controllers. You can do that if you want to. Um, but I, I, I would not recommend it. I would only recommend it if you have a strict contract with someone out in the world and you have agreed on some kind of uh, very, very strict and specific um, XML structure, for instance, or it could also be YAML structure. Um, it could even be JSON structure, but usually your JSON structure um, um, is, it would, it would actually match the um, your, your Java object quite well, so you don't have to test that as much um, in uh, but if, if you have those situations where we have those strict API uh, contracts uh, with, with other people, then of course, then yes, you could uh, you, you, you could run against your application on the port and then use the REST template to test that. But that's not in this situation right here. Uh, so right now we actually want to test the service. So let us, if we do like this with setting out wired, and then we say spaceship, um, spaceship, uh, refuel service, sorry, refuel service like this. Refuel service, mm. refuel service like this. Then, of course, when we try to refuel service, that's refuel ship, and then we have the spaceship right here that we want to test. Ship is ship equals to new spaceship, and here we said the ID could be a yeah, one, the model could be a Falcon, and the fuel left could be like uh, seven percent left, right? So we have seven percent fuel left. And now we would like to refuel it, ship like this. And then we get a new ship returned and we actually assert assertions dot assert um, assert true that the spaceship that uh, fuel, the fuel left is greater than 90%. So this is also an assertion right after it is fueled, then it should actually be, uh, yeah, it should be, we should have more than 90% in, in the fuel tank. Just for fun, we can also print out the spaceship so we can actually see what it looks like before, uh, yeah, um, be be before before the assertion right here. Okay, so what happens now? Of course, um, what happens now is actually that uh, when we try to refuel it, then um, then we will get an error because this this uh, third this third party API is not uh, it's not available right now. Uh, it could also be that it's behind some kind of firewall, so it's only available uh, in your production environment or maybe on your stage environment or something like that. So you don't have access to it locally. Um, oh, this is a long. So, if you left, let's try again. <coughs> Run the test, and now we should actually get an error. So the Spring Boot context starts up, and here we say <coughs> resource access exception. So. Connect exception. Connection refused is, is because we actually do not have a, this endpoint does not exist locally. That, that is what our error say. Okay, so, but we actually, we, we don't care that much about um, that we have access to the to the endpoint or not. We would just like to test the logic, right? So that is most of our test is actually to test our internal logic. We, we could have something more advanced that after refueling it, we would actually also put some cargo inside the, the spaceship or something like that. So we want to test the logic of our own application. That is the purpose with our test. We don't want to, we actually, we, we don't want to test um, the other, uh, yeah, the, the, the whole world, the APIs of the whole world, right? We don't want to, to, to test that. That is, they, they need to test their own, uh, their own logic and their own code, of course. Um, so what do we do? What do we do? Um, one thing is that we can, there are multiple uh, there are multiple ways to actually do this. We could use um, we could use something called profiles. That is one way to do is uh, one way to do it. Um, you can also and this is the way that I'm, I'll use to, I'll show to to begin with. We can say um, profile and then we can say not test. So this means that when we are testing, then we will actually not get this uh, service right here. And then what what could we then do? Then we could actually do. I'm going to actually go right here and we say, I'll create a new package for all of this. So refuel. And here we have refuel, and I will also move my tests up to refuel. Yes, refactor it. So now we have our own 
refuel package right there. So what we want to do is we actually want to copy. We want to create a testable version of that service right here. We want to mock it, actually. That's what we're doing. Yes, you could also use Mockito if you want to or something else. There's a lot of uh, mocking tools out there. But if you don't need those, um, if you don't need those, um, let me say, uh, for test. So we just we just refactored it to for test, okay. And then we say that this extends the this extends the the refuel service like this. So this extends the refuel service, of course. Uh, this this should only be present in in the test code right here. This means that this will this code right here will never go out to um, to your deployed application because it will only it's only in the test uh, source folder. So it is only for testing. And right now, instead of having all of this right here, then we would actually say return um, return uh, yeah. So first first we would actually say ship dot set fuel left. And then we will say we can set it maybe to 95% or something like that. And then we will, then we will return the ship afterwards, right? And here we have a profile test. And then we have our fuel refuel service test right here. If we um, if we run now, we will get the same error as before. But we can actually set something called active profiles, active profiles. And you can say test. So this profile is now for testing. So, and uh, it is always actually a good uh, idea to have a special profile for testing because you want to you want to to change your um, to, you want to change your configuration variable values when you are testing. Uh, yeah, and of course you could also some sometimes you could actually use the same uh, configuration va variable values the, that uh, you also use when you run while well, running locally when you run your application locally um, but uh, at least yeah have a have a have a specific one for for testing so we have active profiles right here now we will see what happens now we have a green test <gasps> and we don't have access to the third party library that is quite cool right was it difficult no, it's not difficult. There is another way that I want to show you, and it's almost the same actually. But if you go, if we go to our resources, and then you go to your application properties right here, then you could actually have a. Here we could actually have a. Let us say. Um, uh, here we could actually have a. What's what should we name this? this we could we could name this um, um, we could name this uh, testing. We are testing. We are testing like this, and then we can say uh, uh, my my config my config dot we are testing, and we can set this to false so this is usually when we when we're testing then this will be true of course um, and now I, I like to use the configuration properties when I use uh, configuration I always create a class that will match that configuration right there and again we could actually create a refuel service right here here we will now have our my config like this and then we have configuration properties configuration properties like this, and then here we say that the prefix should be my config. It could also be something like this, and then here we can have private string, and we say add data. This is from Lumbach, and here we have the string from the my config we are testing. So that means that we every time we see a hyphen, that, that that's the same as camel case in Java. So this means that then we can convert this to we are testing like this and we have uh, all arch constructor and no arch constructor configuration properties we have to turn it on so we'll enable config enable, uh, enable configuration properties like this and then we will say that we need the class named my config like this the curly brackets that's because it's a list you can have multiple classes uh, with, with uh, configuration so here we have my config right here 
And here we have here we have private string we are testing, but let's say right here could not auto wire. That is a bit weird. I get this error once in a while, I don't know why. Um, but nevertheless, it still works. So this means that uh, if I want to, instead of using profile here, then I can use something con con named conditional, conditional, and then I can actually have a value. So then I can have conditional here, we, and we can have multiple conditions actually. So let me say value equal to. <coughs> And these conditions here, um, in, inside this condition here, then we can actually point to a, um, then we can point to a config, configuration variable right here. And the way that we do that, I forgot, I forgot the syntax, uh, that's why I have to go to file, uh, to stack off, to stack overflow, and, um, and, 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 what was it that I wanted to add right here? <coughs> we can say conditional on property. Yeah, actually, this is actually, yeah, this is what I want to show. So here we have conditional on a lot of weird stuff right here. We can be conditional on a bean, so that means that if this bean is uh, available, then this, uh, then there will also be created, a, then this class will also be uh, valid, and it will also be uh, put into the Spring context. So there's a lot of, you can also create a, an expression right here. Also, if there's a missing bean, then then this one will actually be uh, enabled and, and, and available right there. But we also have something called property right here, and this, it, was, it was actually this one I was looking for. So, and um, yeah, having value, we can actually look for the value. So we can both say that we want the, uh, we can both say that we have the value or the name, and then we can also say having having value. So we can also, so we can say name equal to, and then we actually need to have the whole name right there. So let us do that. So there's a name, and then we can also say that we need the, uh, we can also see the having value to false. So that means it is, it's only when it's false that, um, that we have this one right here. And then of course you have probably already guessed what we want to do now, because then we want, we're doing the same for the refuel service and test right here, instead of using the profile. Actually I prefer the profile, but um, and then we can just say having value true instead, right? So when it's true, then we are using this one right here. And when it's false, we are not using that one. Um, regarding the application properties, you could choose to, uh, only to have your um, um, your test application properties in your test source folder. I, I'm just going to add it up here right now, but if you want to, you can see right here, this, this application minus test dot properties means that when the profile is equal to test, then it will, then it will look in this the properties file instead, and then it will get the, the value true, instead of the, in, in the default case, then we'll get the false. This is the default profile uh, that would use application to process file, of course. Okay, so let us run the test and let's see what happens. If we are lucky, then it just works. Yes, it just works. Um, just for fun, let us set this to false. Let's see what happens now. Now we should get the old. Yeah. Now we get the other error again. If we set it to something else than false, or if we set it to something like uh, hello, then none of the two classes will actually be created as uh, services. So then we, wanna, then we will actually have a missing service now. And here we can see here unsatisfied dependency uh, exception instead. So. Let us set it to true again. So the code actually works. Yes. And that was actually it. So um, I'll push this code, then you can uh, look at it yourself. And uh, as I just said before, I actually I prefer the I prefer the profile. So then you have a profile and you know that um, yeah, then, then you can then you can stop your and you, you can mock your your services uh, very easily by adding that on top of your uh, services. 
So, that was it. I hope you have a great evening and I hope that I will see you again soon. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.